<coughs> Where do you get started? I, I got asked this question the other day. Somebody came onto my Instagram. If you don't watch my Instagram or check it out, or you know, look at it, go check it out. It's down in the description section, hopefully. I, I think it's still there. And they asked me, well, they said to me, you know, that they like my channel and they've been watching it for a while. And they asked me uh, if they wanted to start a YouTube channel, what would you suggest making a video about? Like, where would you get started? How would you do it? What would I do differently? And I, I'm asking more questions of this than they actually asked me, but I've really been contemplating this over the last couple of days. Not the question itself, just life, you know, just normal stuff. And honestly, I don't think I would uh, have started the high carb channel, honestly. I don't think I would have started it. I think I would have started a channel and it's kind of going that way. A channel based around actually figuring out who you are, what you actually like to do. And do you actually like doing the diet world? Do you like being the guru for the, the diet guru? Yet, I've lost 150 pounds over the year, you know, years. I kept it off. Um, you know, my weight fluctuates here and there based on, you know, what I'm eating, sleeping and, you know, my, my lifestyle and everything like that. But largely I, I kept 150 pounds off, but it's not really the main focus of my life anymore. You know, it's not really the main focus of what I do. I think mental, you know, I think a lot of this started because of mental issues. A lot of this started because I had issues with myself, with my self image, with where my life was. It was something that I could control just like weightlifting was. Weightlifting was something that I could control. It was easy for me. Like, you know, like if you ever watch Goodwill Hunting, I'm very much like Goodwill Hunting uh, or Will Hunting in that movie because I've just been a drifter my whole life. I've never really had anything that interested me too, too much. I've pushed most people away. I, uh, you know, push most things away. So if I were to start a channel again, I think I would ch change it to something about figuring out who you are. Now this is coming from somebody who really hasn't figured that out himself. And I'm 43 years old, going to be 44 this year. But I think that's more important than anything because we get caught up in these like side quests almost like there, there's the main like i'm i you know i, I kind of like video games so like if we compare it to video games there's the main quest of the video game and then there's the side quests and sometimes there's different different quests and you end up becoming the side quest of your own main story and you, you become stuck in this side quest when the rest of your life is passing you by example of that uh, when I was weightlifting, most of, I'm having actually a hard time looking at the camera right now because I'm really realizing how much, how crazy and weird and just not how my life is wanted to go, it has been. And an example of this is when I was doing weightlifting, I became, that was a side quest of my life. I had a, a fiance at the, the, in the early stages of it. I had a girlfriend in the other stages of it. I had a job, I had all this other stuff, but I got lost in the one thing that I knew I was good at. I just got lost in it, but it wasn't really benefiting me in any way, shape or form. I was in pain a lot. I was constantly, um, you know, most of my money went towards weightlifting. I wasn't going out. I wasn't doing anything. I, I, and people ask me why I don't lift anymore. I finally gave it up. Like it, it absorbed my life, you know, and if it's something like if, if it's your entire world, right? If it's your entire world, if it's, if you're a weightlifter, if you're an Olympic weightlifter, if you're a bodybuilder and you compete, if it has anything other than just being something that you do involved with it, why is it taking up so much of your time? And I started analyzing this and I'm like, this is taking up my entire life. I won't go out to eat. I won't uh, like do certain activities. I won't, I mean, the gamut of things that I would not do because I didn't want to ruin my quote gains was astronomical. It was astronomical. There was absolutely no reason whatsoever to live that, that way. 
And I notice this with certain other things. It's because I haven't really figured out what it is that I actually like to do in life. So I take these little side quests, no matter what they are, it could be a person, it could be a place, it could be a thing, and I distract myself. You know, video games, it could be anything. I'll distract myself because I don't want to face the fact that I haven't really quite figured out what it is that I want to do with my life. That's what weightlifting was. I was good at it, but that doesn't mean I should be doing it. Just because you're good at something doesn't mean you should be doing it. What is it that you want to do? Now, this, <laughs> this comes from a very simple question, a very honest question. What, where should you start your videos or hit their videos? And the place that you got to start making your videos from or whatever creative activity that you want to do, I think is a, from a place that you fear the most. What do you fear the most in your life? What has the most like unachievable, unachievable thing in your life? And maybe make videos around that. That's chances are if something has a lot of fear around it, a lot of apprehension around it, a lot of whatever it is around it. Chances are maybe that's, that, that's where sh you should start. Maybe that's where your creative life should actually be. If something comes super easy to... Now, now if you want to take your entire life and base it around diet culture and making yourself healthier and, and everything like that, that is, a great, that is a great thing. But if it's not that interesting to you, if it's just something that you did, you had success with it, but it's not really something that you want to do past that. Maybe that's not where, where you want to start making videos or maybe that's not where you want to put your attention. It's something that you did, you're good at it, but do you really want to live in that life? Is that really the life you want to live? Like one of the things that I have always struggled with ever since uh, an early age is uh, getting in relationships. So one of the things that I did, I, I would go work out and I would go to work. So I didn't have to deal with getting in relationships. You know, I had, you know, a lot of friends that were girls in the day. Of course, there was things that went on, but by and large, I would not let myself get in a relationship because I didn't want that pain. I didn't want that sadness. So what is it that, that you have fear on? I would say go, go achieve that and maybe make videos on that or make videos about that to help other people know that they're not, you know, the only ones in that boat. You know, that is my suggestion to you that is one thing that i've been analyzing i mean i i was going in my notebook i'm over here in my notebook today actually and i'm like what do i actually like to do like what what is it that that makes ryan tick is there anything that actually makes ryan tick i mean i've like an example i've had 50 some odd jobs i've had 50 some odd jobs because i really haven't liked anything that i did and when i did finally like a couple of them they absorbed my life and I don't really like that either. I like to have that, that work ba balance. <clears throat> I don't really know if this video is about what videos you should make or just what the hell this video is about. Most of my videos lately have been kind of interpretive and just kind of observing my life and making videos about it and it's snowing again. I cannot believe. Look at this. <sighs> you see that? There's the lake. I don't know if you can see it over there. There's the lake. But I've realized that I've been making videos about stuff that, you know, I like. I'm happy that I did it. I'm happy to be a part of the vegan world. And I'm not going to stop making those videos, but they don't really run my life. For example, last night I'm out, I'm watching my sisters and I didn't feel like going and buying a bunch of groceries, largely because she doesn't ex exactly have the most equipped kitchen. So I just went to the Chinese place last night and I didn't feel like guilt feeling guilty about going into Chinese place. I got it as low fat, you know, high carb, low fat as I possibly could. But, you know, what can you do? Like, what, what, what am I supposed to do in that situation? And I think a lot of people who watch these, these channels or these videos who are in that light, they're going to start beating themselves up for it. And really, why? You know, you're, you're here, you're, you're having this experience on this planet. You should have it as, as fully as you possibly can. And just let that be. Now, I'm not saying to go out there and be the fattest version of yourself or anything like that. 
But if you don't actually figure out who you are, if you always have somebody's voice in your head or, or your own voice interpreting what somebody said to you or trying to figure out what somebody else said to you or somebody else did, if you always have somebody else running your life, where are you in your life? Are you even a part of the story? Like, you know, that's where I was with the weightlifting. I almost became a side quest within my own life. And I, I really, nothing else, everything else was falling apart other than my weightlifting. I only concentrated on my weightlifting. I, I have a track record of doing this in my, on my, in my 44 years, basically on this planet. I have a huge track record of getting so fixated on one thing and realizing that my life, not realizing that my life is passing me by and I'm not enjoying any part of the day other than maybe that one little thing. And that one little thing might be 20 seconds of your day and then the rest of your day is spent thinking about that, whatever that is. You know, like weightlifting, you might weightlift for like, it's really going at it out there. For like, I don't know, maybe an hour a day. Let's just use a round figure. So you've got an hour a day that you're weightlifting, but you're thinking, in my case, and you know, this might not be you, but in my case, I was thinking about weightlifting for an hour a day. Meanwhile, the other 23 hours was spent thinking about this one hour thing. Because I, none of my, uh, the other part of my life was anything that I wanted. But at the same time, I didn't even know what I wanted it to look like. So if you're, if you're getting in this world, if you're getting on this, you know, lifestyle or whatever it is, figure out what it is that you can't wait to do and you can absorb your life with it, but it actually became, comes the main story. Your life is based around this one thing, not your life is over here and this thing over here is absorbing the rest of your time and you're just watch you're thinking about that one other thing you're doing just like everything that you do like for example like i'm going to use weightlifting again i wouldn't go out to eat i wouldn't have sex i wouldn't want to even get in relationships because it might screw up my workout it's how ridiculous it got and i wasn't even making money off this every single thing that i did was based on making sure my workout was the best that it could be. Now, if that's, if you're fine with that, if you're fine with that, then, then by all means go for it. But I wasn't, I've never been, I've never been fine with that, but I find myself getting in these weird patterns of, you know, obsession, obsessive thinking about a certain topic and it just side the, the derailing rest of my, you know, like when I go to a party, people can tell I'm not there. Or when I go to a, a meeting or when I go to work or whatever, I, or wherever I go, or when I, even out door dashing, I've had people comment like, you look like you're a million miles away. I look like I'm a million miles away even in this video because I got other things on my mind. At what point do you get to a place where you are not doing that and you are actually living your life? I guess this really doesn't have too much to do with the video, making videos, but it does have something to do with life and where is it going i guess my brain is scattered like usual and this is just a video hopefully it gives you some idea of maybe what to look for and what not to do and how not to do it maybe it was nothing i have no idea it's just where i'm at right now i think becoming your own version of you is magnetic and i've seen glimpses of it in myself and then I go through patches of, of time where I'm like this, where I'm just here, I'm present. I saw an interview one time with this guy who was, I think 98 or something like that. And he, his wife had passed away and somebody was interviewing him about the thing that's, you know, most important to you. And he said that the most important thing to him was his wife who had passed. And he said that now he just exists. He's just waiting to die. And I feel like most people are in that pattern. They're just going to work, coming home, watching TV, eating dinner, giving, getting in a fight. They don't even, you know, acknowledge each other anymore. 
and then they go to bed and they get up and they do it all over again. I mean, what kind of existence is this? I was watching another video the other day about America, and I think most Western countries are kind of like this, but I think America tops the cake. There was this German 11th through 12th, or 11th through 13th grade, I guess, English class or something that was studying America. And it was studying the propaganda for America. And then the propaganda for America, it basically had all of us lonely and over-consuming. Now you cannot replace, another thing that I think, if you live this life, if you live this side quest life, you are going to destroy all your relationships in your life for the most part. And those relationships are going to be gone permanently. And you wake up and you're 43 and you realize that you've pushed everybody away for a side quest that had nothing to actually do with your main quest. And your main quest, you also pushed aside because your side quest was all absorbing. And it's just, it's, it's hard to realize when you get to this point. And, and when I hear that, it's true. Like we're all, a lot of us are so lonely in this existence of ours. And I think the reason is, is we started replacing relationships and doing things with stuff. There's stuff everywhere. I mean, you see it everywhere. There's Amazon boxes everywhere. Everybody's ordering stuff to try to make themselves happier than they really are. When really, if you look at a model of back even in my parents' day or my parents' parents' day, they had a, a whole nucleus. They, they had a, this nucleus of people that they, they were surrounding themselves with. They had the mother, the father, they had kids. They all got along, you know, for the most part. Divorce rates were low. Everybody did their, their thing, you know. And now everybody's so scattered and we're so torn. And they got, you know, women, you know, they try to get women into the workplace just for more tax money. Like they're not already printing money. I mean, I don't, I don't care what you say on that topic. I mean, that's just ridiculous. We all have these roles that we're very good at. And we try to make you know, make something more than it is, like, and now that everything's so torn apart, we're over-consuming to try to make up for what we had already before, before this, uh, this over-consumerism even started. We had everything we needed. I mean, really, think about it. Relationships in most people's lives is, is the most important thing it used to be, but now, the most, I, like I, I've seen these commercials, and of course it's Amazon, of this, uh, you know, this, this woman in this apartment, and she's alone, right? And so she fills it with plants. I mean, I mean, per perfect example here. Plants, everywhere. Plants are not going to fill the role that somebody that you would find would fill. This video is all over the place. I apologize. If you made it this far, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. This is just where my brain is at. I'm watching this. I'm watching this life unfold. And I'm realizing that everything that I did to push away people and live this weird life that I didn't really even like has gotten me nothing. They say the crazier somebody's life is, the more character you have, but I might have a lot of character, but I have a lot of questions on why I did things. And it is really snowing out there. Look at this. I was at the lake today. So my advice, if you're watching this and you're in your younger years, you're younger than 43, I'd really pay attention to the relationships in your life more than anything else. Pay attention to the relationships in your life. Pay attention to building a life that you actually want to live and get out of trying to please your parents, please your grandparents, try to please everybody else in your life and actually figure out what it is that pleases you. Nobody 
is here. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Comments, questions down below. Like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next one.